everyone, welcome back to Bean Blossom Brick Studios, and in this video I will be reviewing the Lego Harry Potter set number 75966 Hogwarts Room of Requirement. This set has 193 pieces and it retails for $20 in the US. The front of the box shows the Room of Requirement build and the three minifigures that the set comes with, Luna Lovegood, Hermione Granger, and Harry Potter. My box is a little bit damaged on top, but this isn't really a box that I'm going to be saving because um, it's not that big of a set. The back of the box shows the other side of the build and some of the play features that I'll get to later in the video. This set does have push tabs, which I opened before reviewing the set, um, which makes sense though because this is a smaller set and smaller sets do normally have push tabs. Um, but even on bigger sets lately, I have been seeing push tabs more instead of tape. The first minifigure up is Luna Lovegood, who looks pretty good at first glance. Her torso print is nice with like a necklace thing on it. Her first face looks really good. It has like no expression and her alternate face is kind of like a surprise look, which kind of fits for Luna. The thing that is the worst for this minifigure, which is really annoying and I don't know why this is even a problem, is the hairpiece. When you put it on, there's like this gap here, which at first I thought it was so that you could sit her in a minifigure chair and she would like be able to sit with her hair, but I did try that and it did not fit still, so I don't know why Lego put like this weird gap in between because it allows her hair to like shift, but not quite turn her head all the way even. So it's just kind of a weird flaw that I don't know why is on this minifigure, but that's the one drawback to it. Next up, we have Hermione Granger, who is a good looking minifigure. Um, nice Gryffindor tie on the torso print with the uh, Gryffindor sweater as well. The hairpiece is nothing special. It's been seen in plenty of other sets. Same as the face print, but as you can see, there's like a half smile on this side and an angry face on that side. And also, I will note that the hair has no gap like Luna's, so Hermione is a good minifigure for this set. The last minifigure included in this set is Harry Potter. He has a nice torso print with the unbuttoned sweater and the Gryffindor tie hanging down. His, however, his hair and face print and pants have all been seen in other sets before, but once again, just so you can see, this is like a grin on this face. Another one is an angry face, and yeah, I don't really have anything else to say about this minifigure. This set also has uh, one of those Death Eater dummies that are seen in the movies that they shoot their spells at. And it has two Patronuses, the Otter for Hermione and the Bunny for Luna, which look really good in this transparent blue with like glitter sparkles or whatever on it. The build for this set is um, nothing major, it's just like a $20 set, but it does come with this um, like bulletin board thing with like a picture of Cedric on it and the uh, Order of the Phoenix, which is pretty cool. This set does have quite a few stickers. One is on here. One is behind the fireplace. It has some bricks, which actually looks really good, I think. And there are some more stickers on this sliding door, which I like because it shows that the room of requirement is like sometimes there and sometimes not, like in the movies and the books. And there's also stickers on all of these proclamations two play features of this set are one you can press this uh hinged piece above the fireplace and it'll knock out the proclamations uh right here and you can stick them back on it just pushes like a technic piece through there to knock them off and the second play feature as i showed you already is the sliding door and then this door can open i guess this set also comes with this blue piece that has been seen mostly in like Marvel superhero sets. And I guess you can like make it look like Harry is shooting the Patronus out of his wand. You just fire it off. It doesn't shoot that well, but it's a cool feature. Worst thing about this build and the set is 
For one, they don't give you enough room for your minifigures. See, they only give you like two studs and it's kind of hard to get your hands in there to put minifigures on, which they should have like had a bigger base plate in my opinion to put more people on and stuff. And second is, you can't really, I don't know how good you can see it through the camera, but this uh, proclamation thing, they gave me a piece that was the wrong color. You can see it a bit better with the bottom side up. This, These are all supposed to be this lighter brown color, but they gave me a darker brown color, which isn't a big deal, but I mean, still, if you're paying money for this set, you don't want to get the wrong pieces, but I got this for Christmas, so I can't really complain. If any of you guys got this set and had this problem, I would comment. I'd be interested to see if it was a one-time error or if it was, like, if lots of people got it. Overall, I would recommend the set, definitely, even though it has lots of flaws. Especially if you're already collecting the castle sets, because this one does actually connect to the castle set, even though it's way smaller. That is going to conclude this review. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, that would be awesome. And subscribe to my channel to see more awesome LEGO videos. Uh, thanks for watching.